Hi y'all. We're gonna be showing you how to make a peanut butter pie today. Yes. And we're gonna start with, uh, you wanna start with a pre-done pie shell or, um, or you can do a graham cracker crust uh, pie shell. Um, big box of vanilla pudding. You're gonna start with a half a cup of peanut butter. We like crunchy around here. To that, you're gonna add a half a cup of powdered sugar. So you wanna start with a half a cup. And you just wanna mix this together. If y'all don't have powdered sugar, we have a video on how to make it. It's really simple. You just have to work in small batches so you can get your powdered sugar real fluffy. Otherwise, you'll get it, it'll be a little grainy. So you wanna work in like one cup um, things. That's increments, yeah, one cup increments. And that looks like we might need a little more. So we'll just add a little more here. This works really good even if you don't have the um, peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter. You can do it with regular peanut butter. It works wonderful with that too. Um, it, but when we have crunchy, I like to use it. And you're just wanting to get crumbles. I'm gonna add just a smidge more here. Set this aside for a second, and we're gonna make our pudding. And go submit right over. Right, right. Yeah. So we're gonna take half a cup of pudding mix and mix it into two cups of milk. We get ours in Amish country in bulk, but you can definitely just use a, a pudding, a big box of pudding, and just make it according to package directions. And we're just gonna whisk that together. Okay, while well, she's finishing, um, mixing that all up. You wanna take half of your crumble mixture that you have here, and you'll put half of it in the bottom of your pan, okay? And this is already a pre-cooked pie crust. It's just not very brown. And like I said, you can use a um, graham cracker crust if you desire. All right, I'm just gonna pour this over top of that mixture. My pie crust shrank a little bit because I did not put any weights inside my pie when I cooked it, my pie crust, when I cooked it. So what you can do is you can put down a piece of um, parchment paper or wax paper and you can put beans on top of it and um, that'll weight it down so it doesn't shrink and slide into the, into the uh, pan, okay? <laughs> now we need to make our whipped topping. If you have Cool Whip, you can put it on top right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make some fresh whipped cream. So for our whipped cream, we're gonna show you how we do that. We've showed you before in a, another video, but we're gonna go through it kind of quickly here today. Okay. For our stand mixer, we have our whisk attachment and we're just gonna put two cups of heavy whipping cream in there. Two 
that we're gonna add half a cup of powdered sugar. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. starting out on low and moving to high. go. Wow. All right. Wonderful job. Whip popping is so easy to make. It tastes so much better, don't you think? Yes, definitely. Okay. I'm just gonna slip this on here. Swirl it around a little bit. I think this is the easiest pie ever to make. <laughs> it is cream pie. That's how my grandmother made it, I believe. I believe that's where this recipe came from. Your great-grandmother's. I know this is in a pie tin, but this is a homemade crust. Um, we just froze it. We put we save uh, pie tins and then we freeze them. And we can link how to make your own pie crust below. Um, we did do a video on that, did we? Yeah, pie crust. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you, it's the most, it's the greatest pie crust because you can freeze it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Let me get these little ridges in here because so I'm just tapping him with this to make him stand up a little bit. Because what we're going to do next, you want little valleys in there to hold on to all the goodies. pipe this on too with little rosettes or something that would be pretty mm -hmm. okay and you want to take these little leftover crumbles that you got here and you want to sprinkle them right on top My oldest daughter nicknamed this her peanut butter pie because she loved it so much. This is what she would request when she came home from college or anytime she's coming home for the holidays. This is the pie she always wanted. So she, we nicknamed it Amanda's peanut butter pie. <laughs> You know, I wasn't a big peanut butter pie fan until I had it this way. And now I really like this one. I've learned to like peanut butter pie, but when I was younger, I thought it was just too rich. This one's light. And it'll, don't let it fool you. It's full of flavor. Mm -hmm. But it's not as heavy as a traditional peanut butter pie. All right.
us how easy it is to make this peanut butter pie. We're going to put it in the fridge and we're going to let it set up and then we'll dig into it. All right, guys, there's your pie. And it is quite delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys give this peanut butter pie a try. Yes. It's, it's really good and it's not as rich and as a regular peanut butter pie, but you still get that really delicious flavor. Mm -hmm. Well, as always guys, keep it simple. And fun.